show us the big problem. Madeline. Well, Nigel and Gabby, this massive hole in the ground behind me becoming quite the attraction as we've watched all day as more and more parts of the road just swallowed into the earth. Man, it's crazy. Like, I've never seen nothing like it before. A sight for passerbys, but a nightmare for a local business. The ground giving way this morning and taking the road with it. Signs and everything on a flatbed ready to bring out here. SCDOT early to the damage, fearing for the worst. Luckily for for the DOT, it's it's you know a private driveway. Not so lucky for Central Freight Lines, a trucking company that serves the upstate. This now split in half road is the only way their trucks can get in and out. I tried to call the regional manager to see how the company is dealing with this setback, but was hung up on. Oh gosh, this one, this is a pretty big undertaking. Um, you know, my guess is that they're probably going to have to hire a, a contractor to come out with, uh, you know, big excavators. Just judging by the size of the creek that's going through here, it's, a, it's about five feet deep and maybe 10 feet wide. Now it's just a matter of time until the water goes out so the trucks can too. Look, they definitely going to be out here like, there'll be a lot of people on the clock this week. <laughs> And just within the past half hour, I tried calling the general number for this trucking company. Right now, all their calls are being directed to their Lexington, South Carolina location. They could tell me there, though, that they have multiple locations across the southeast and are hoping that some of the other trucks in those locations will come help them out here. The biggest question, though, and the biggest problem that still remains, though, is getting up and, and back down uh, this part of the road, which is the only way, of course, trucks can come in and out of here. We're live in Greenville County, Madeline Hackett, WYFF News 4.